brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, change makers, grid workers, I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from the Night Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton, for August 11th, 2022. And the title of this message is Full Moon, Lion's Gate, and August Energies Unite. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are very impressed with humanity's ability to weather so many storms there on Earth, and we are also impressed by your ability to anchor in so much energy all at once. Many of you are finding a way at this time to anchor in the full moon energies along with the Lion's Gate energies, and you are also opening yourselves up to the August energies of transformation. This can cause a feeling of overwhelm in the system and in the body of the being who is grounding in so much energy all at once. You are impressive indeed because you understand that all of these energies simultaneously can cause an overload and yet you continue to open up to them anyway. You have been masterful creators there on earth for quite some time and many of you have learned how to utilize the energies coming in to help you create new realities and new experiences for yourselves. Now is one of those times where you can be very creative and very bold in what it is that you seek to create. But you also have to recognize that the convergence of all of these energies can be a bit taxing on you physically, mentally, and emotionally. After all, a full moon usually results in more emergency room visits as well as more arrests by the police. That means it is extra challenging to hold it all together at the time of a full moon there on your planet, and therefore hydration, meditation, grounding, resting, relaxing, and, and sleeping have even more significance than usual in your daily routine. You need all the tools that you have at your disposal at this time in order to fully actualize energies into that which you desire to experience. And you need to take care of yourself simultaneously as you still are physical beings after all. Now the transformation of your bodies continues and is certainly expedited with the August energies. Therefore, you are more capable than ever before of handling so much all at once but you still must be aware of the possibility for an overload to your system, to your physical body, and to your mental and emotional bodies as well. Alignment of all your bodies is very important and a good intention for you to sit as you move through your day. Grounding is something that you can do while in your home, but also when you can get outside and you can connect with a tree or Mother Earth. You can make a more concerted effort to be more hydrated and have water around you at all times. And finally, now is not the time to be burning the candle at both ends. You need your sleep, your downtime, and your me time. And if you can get a massage or bathe in a tub of water, there is no better time than now to engage in these activities of self-care. Self-love is always important and taking yourself out of situations where you can feel like you are being abused emotionally or mentally is a very good idea right now as well. You must take care of yourselves and your vehicles to handle all that is upon you right now and you must recognize the significance of this moment in human history because there is no other moment like right now and you have never had as many souls on earth as you do in this very moment. It's time to bring about the great changes that you have all desired. And by acknowledging that it is a very powerful time to be connecting and co-creating, you make these changes occur. Get focusing and expect to have the impact on your lives and on your world that you've always wanted to have. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. I certainly have noticed some pretty crazy energies going on with some of my own interpersonal relationships with people overseas I've never even met before, with people in my own family. It's very exhausting right now, that's all I can say. I certainly like the part about the self-care. Who doesn't enjoy a bathtub with warm, steamy water and Epsom salt? And maybe add some essential oils to that. 
This marvelous message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it's always my honor to bring you these remarkable messages from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council.